Hello, fellow humans. It is I, the most human, Diluc, and we are playing a video game called The Beginner's Guide, where we will begin the game. Highly interesting opening right here. Please make sure audio is on. I was going to turn it off. I thought that might be fun. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing The Beginner's Guide. Yeah. My name is Davey Reedon. Yeah. I wrote The Stanley Parable. Cool. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff, and his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. But what okay, I like okay. is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. Yeah, like of that course, it art. destroys Great. the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, hey. not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being <laughs> really is. is this? And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So, who, who it's 2008, no, 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 Coda texture. starts making these what? games, and Coda. he never releases any of them. He doesn't Coda, put man. them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately this? abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly it's one very, day, he just stopped. Mid, In very 2011, low quality, I that was say. it. I'm sorry, he made his last game and then oh well. he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all ah, of his good, work together. Good level. <laughs> because I find his games powerful and interesting. And I'd like this collection to reach him, to sure, maybe encourage him to start creating again. I'm not and sure about how powerful, And if the people like you mate. who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So ah, thanks yes, for joining the me classic on this. Door. If you have a particular interpretation that all I haven't mentioned work. here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at I... gmail.com. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. Okay, As cool. Each game, game is loaded. Yes. I'll show you the date that it was completed. Please. This game, first one game was made good. in November 2008. Ga ga actual game sounds good. I'm much more of a 3D model myself, so I need to slowly get into This game is called Mechanics. Escape from Whisper. And it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. More mechanical stuff. Also, this is a great hallway that just makes a ton of sense. Like, I could model everything in here, but I could not make a game out of it. Okay. It kind of looks life. like this game was abandoned mid-development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. How is but this clearly powerful, no man? I'm anywhere. sorry, but what? You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. Oh, you can run out of bullets? Really know. Oh shit, you Maybe can. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. N no? But I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. What the fuck are you on about, man? It's not how... It's not how games are. It's not how games work. 
I love how you can see the bottom of the universe from this room. Ooh, brilliant. Thanks for pointing that out. Really brings the whole universe together. It's not infinite at all. We found the Apparently front of the bodies, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently station has a labyrinth on it. I... Uh, sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. <laughs> hey! That's like almost gameplay, alright? I wanted okay, to this is the part totally play that, 100%. The game it? has this narrative about the whisper machine, and how it has to be turned off, and then you get to the engine room. Okay, wow, yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be... Ooh, hey, look, it's a blue thing. You there, in the engine room. That's me, you yes. Cool, I'll do that. that. Beam is powering a whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you... Your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give yourself? Nah, I'm good. On second thought, nah, I'm, I'm... Yeah, you know, this corner looks very weird. Like, why is this corner here? Is this, this is not a branching point, unfortunately. The only option Whoa. is to step into the beam. Ah, good, good collision. Good collision right here. <laughs> quality... I, I know the point is it's not quality video game. But it's still funny playing in these buggy messes. Because that's what I create on a daily basis, pretty much. Let's go. Let me pause here for a second. What you just I think we're already paused. Stepping into the beam and then dying is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. To the universe and beyond. The beam causes you to start floating. Ah, there's the labyrinth. And this is an important moment. All right, so we would have gotten because yes, this is technically here, a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it, I said, b -b -b like how small it makes you feel. I would have had to make the second on the right and then system. walk around. Okay, this cool. Or floating could Good be enough. the afterlife. For, uh, for the next playthrough, that's definitely gonna happen. Against all of the hysteria that you oh, just had to traverse. Uh, what do you reckon I, happens I if you're on fast around? I have no idea what he was thinking, but. <laughs> What's Shh, clear we'll is give that it a, I'm scene. the Let's Play here. Shush. Itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So this he looks like a work on this. This looks like a DMT map. A of tiny little oh man, I'll have to make that into a map. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. Right. Ah. Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. <laughs> okay, what the f- Wait, wait, what the- What the fuck is- What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Supposed to be like a horror game? I can see this would have the horror game aesthetic. So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. Okay, this is almost interesting at this point. We've, we've reached height, a height of game development that uh, I should probably read this out, right? How will she find the strength that has not seen many times? To confront it. It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Which to me is why it works, because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. He made all of those games in a single month? Okay, can I move? Ooh, I can move normally. Now that is next level video games. You're now entering. Okay, I'm entering. What, what am I entering? And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. Yeah, it was so interesting, mate. I'm sure. Sh surely you'll win me over. Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre Nonsense titles in nearly like every this direction. one at the start of his games. 
Okay. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? Um, I get slower. Once oh, no. you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, oh, no. the door at the top of the stairs opens. Oh no. So why, if code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. I'm sure I'm sure what lies beyond is unbound treasure, glorious uh, I got nothing. Like the meaning of life. The meaning of life. What? What the fuck? Um. A room that's warm and nice and filled with little ideas for games. I mean, yeah, the meaning of life. It's our uh, weird ideas, I guess. I have learned so much today. Koda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. These are terrible game ideas. Like, you walk around talking people down from pursuing their hopes and dreams. I guess if pulled off right, that one could be semi-fun. Right, he said fish. Are we gonna fish? No, that sounds like... Okay, guess I'm wrong. I wanted to go fishing, damn it. I said I'm in a concrete world. If there's really basic textured things. Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Puzzless darkness? Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're gonna see it a lot. Okay, this is random three dots. Staple of any game, random three dot black dots. So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Alright, now I'm going to modify the game again, so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. And suddenly, we're in Eden! Huh. How we're not, about we're that? not, we're not in Eden. There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. Why? I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs what? game since what? they essentially convey the what? opposite idea. Who? What? So, uh, no! In the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. Who and would then make this? this level, and a dull why? dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Why would Either you way, ever make this? I think this? that the point is the same. Is that most of the time you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing I don't anything. think that's the that point. I think this person is just insane. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? Mate, I think you're stretching it. You're like, you're like, <laughs> literature critique. <laughs> where you critique things in there that probably the author never intended. I'm uh -huh. not exiting. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in. Some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. I don't and think that's have, the case. Can step back Listen, man. And start to understand what exactly that bigger Listen, picture is. Listen, man, you're gonna is. you're gonna keep tacking things on here that don't exist, and I think you need to let them go. He died in 1984 in a car crash, and. Um, None of this is real. You're in a coma. You, you need Let's to wake up. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which yes. determines what the game can and cannot do. 
So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Yes, that's how video games to work. To make all of these Thank games, you. Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. What the hell One is that? One of the things there? that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Bye, world. The tools oh. available to the creator shape oh. what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. Oh, I just you might consider paying attention the to game. the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. It's not really a thing to be proud of. <laughs> But this game is the first time I have to say this looks genuinely interesting. Like, oh, ooh. this looks very. Oh, in. I'm going to die. Oh, okay. That way. Hello. This is actually interesting. This prison. Funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. Ah, that makes sense. If you good. don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. No, I wanted to wait an hour. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually Stretch out be the video. whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that so, after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games. Your friend is also stupid? Hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in, and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. Your friend sounds like a big old dumbass, not gonna lie. The game ha <laughs> the game can't be playable! That takes away from the artistry! Ugh. It's the puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. I love how this thing clips through the wall as well. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to There's also no to clear indication why the music is so fucking loud. I only have master volume. I don't even I can't even turn down the sound. Very shortly. Ah, boy. What off? This is definitely an experience, that's for sure. I do like walking simulators. Ah! It's... It's the boys! You there, did you come up from above? What was up there? Here, Kuda begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. There was an enormous prison. That's the world above. You've been there. Now it's important. Did you have to get a puzzle with two doors and switches? Sure. Again, perfect. Now please tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution. Then. We don't want to go there. Oh no, but I do. We do, we need to get there, do you understand? It's the most important thing in the world, we have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you there's nothing I want more. And now I'm supposed to speak again, but I cannot. I guess, how walls work. At least in my heart. Ah, I see. I see the conundrum that we are in.
How did he get here? Was there a pause yet to pass through? No, no, we actually find the black space between the doors to be far more interesting. Have you seen it? Uh, I really don't. Okay. Be sure to play close attention. She will visit again soon. It just gets goes into non existence. And so we make one last descent uh, down to the final floor of the level. Yes. We do. Thank you for telling me what I'm playing. Someone made this game. It's a lamppost. Okay, I can't tell you Someone quite made why, this. but for some reason, Coda this fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. It's a game called Ammo. I'll tell you that what I think. Absolute shit. Uh, I think that up to this point, but you know, one he's been really strange and abstract games. And it's no essentially this, and maybe you can play around in that headspace. And more of a game. Because <laughs> now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. He wants it to lead to land. So it's a we are playing a moth. We're going to see it in the work as well. His games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, more <laughs> that idea will get clearer. Man, I would hate to live in that house. <laughs> They've been screwing me over real hard with that window. <laughs> 